We start in Malaysia, where new details have emerged surrounding the murder of Kim Jong Nam, the half brother of North Korean leader Kim Jong Un. Local authorities have detained a second woman in connection with the killing after the first suspect was arrested yesterday. Kwon Jang Ho has the latest. A second woman has been arrested by Malaysian authorities in the case of the murder of Kim Jong Nam. The Royal Malaysia Police released a statement saying they had detained a 25-year-old woman at 2 a.m. this morning. She was carrying an Indonesian passport and was identified from CCTV footage at Kuala Lumpur International Airport, the scene of the crime. This comes after a first suspect was arrested on Wednesday morning. The 28-year-old woman was caught at Kuala Lumpur International Airport holding a Vietnamese passport. Sources have confirmed that she is the same person as the woman seen in pictures released by local media outlets. The police have said they are checking with the Vietnamese embassy to confirm whether she is of Vietnamese nationality. Security footage showed two men approach Kim at the airport on Monday morning, and they are suspected of having poisoned him with either a needle or a toxic spray. The Malaysian authorities have also said they're looking for at least four more men in relation to the case, but they have remained tight-lipped on the reason for why they are being sought. On Wednesday evening, the Malaysian police also confirmed that they have completed their autopsy on the body of Kim Jong Nam. The process is said to have taken roughly seven hours, but so far no details on the results have been released. Officials from the North Korean embassy in Kuala Lumpur were seen at the hospital while the autopsy was taking place. They had reportedly asked for Kim's body to be handed over, but the request was denied. It's currently unclear what will happen to the body once the investigations are completed. The South Korean government has said it will wait for the Malaysian authorities to carry out their investigations before commenting. But a government official has said they are working under the assumption that North Korea was involved in the incident, and if it is confirmed, they will work to rally international pressure on the regime. Kwon Jang-ho, Arirang News.